So winter may be coming, but apparently it's not gonna last forever. Hey guys, hope you like this as a background better. I feel it's a little more dynamic than the couch, although you'll be stuck with that as I wrap up the episode by episode reviews on Game of Thrones Season 3. But that brings me right to the fact that the producers of Game of Thrones have now gone on record that they only plan for the show to last seven or eight seasons. I know that sounds a little bit wishy-washy for them to not settle on an exact number, but their point was they're going to end it when they get to that when. <sighs> But the point is, they intend to end it when they reach a natural conclusion where they need to end this thing. They're not going to wait around and string along several seasons waiting for George R. R. Martin's notoriously late books. Right now, George R. R. Martin has two more books in the Song of Fire and Ice series to finish and get released. And given historically how long the gaps between his books tend to be, there is a very real possibility that the last book is not going to be out for about a decade. So, what does that mean for the end of the show? Are they going to make something up? Are they going to pull it completely out of their butt? No. George R. R. Martin, who has been working fairly closely with the producers on this show, has sat down with them and basically laid out what he currently has planned for the end of the show, going through each character. Now, it's broad strokes. It's not details, because that'll get worked out when he sits down to actually write the thing. But it does empower the producers to be able to wrap this thing up in their own time and not have to either give us a ridiculously long gap in between seasons or to give us multiple seasons of nothing but filler. So I say good for them and good for us as fans because it means the thing's going to maintain some degree of integrity. Although I do have to say for people who are fans of the books first, if this does come to pass that the show wraps up before the books do, it's going to kind of suck for them. They're, they're basically going to have the last book or possibly even two books spoiled for them by the TV show. But, you know, so it goes. I say props to the producers for making the right call. Fingers crossed that what this actually does is kick George R. Mark is kick George R. R. Martin in the ass to get these books finished before the show catches up with it, but pfft, who knows. Normally at this point I'd ask your opinion on something Game of Thrones related, but you know what? I want to get your opinion on all of this. How does this look? This feel better? It feels a little bit more dynamic to me. A little... Got a little more freedom of movement? I'm digging it. Are you? Leave a comment down below. Let me know if we're heading in the right direction. In the meantime, this council is adjourned.